hello friends so welcome in the new video so in this video we will going to see how to use uart on this blue pill stm32 board so this is very compact board and we have already discussed the led blinking on this board so this is the part number which we will going to use now here you can see we have connected one stm with arduino so basically uart is actually serial port where you can send or receive message on a single wire so single wire for sending single wire for receiving and since this is a synchronized port so you have to set baud rate both the side now here you can see in pin diagram yellow highlighted modules are uart so out of all we will going to use this pa9 and pa10 pin so pa9 is a serial tx and pa10 is a serial rx so we are going to use this pin and as in image and in the video you can see this board is connected with this both the pin to the arduino so these are the connection which we have used so from blue pill pa9 is connected with pin 8 of arduino from blue pill P810 is connected with pin 9 of Arduino and ground both grounds are connected as a common and our baud rate is 9600. So let us start our programming. So for that you have to simply select new STM32 project. Here we will select the target. So our part number is 103C86, click next, here I am just writing anything, it's just a project name, so for demo purpose I am writing test ABC, finish, now it will going to create a project for us. So now uh, in this I am just configuring UART. And I will simply write this two line of code. Okay. And this two line of code is actually first line is going to load this message on this buffer, and second line will simply send this message on UART using HAL UART transmit function. So HAL UART transmit function is having four arguments. First one is the handler, second is the message. We are using typecasting, third is the length of the message, and fourth one is the count 100 millisecond is a timeout period so basically this message will simply send serial test from blue pill hardware code on uart port on uart terminal basically right and this will be the handler so as per our selection this will send this message on that particular pin so now we have pin out pin view now simply first select RCC then in connectivity we have UART so simply change this mode from disable to asynchronize and here you can see we have two pin enable PA9 and PA10 so as discussed these two are UART and we have connected this as you can see in this hardware with the Arduino and last step is to set the baud rate so let us change this baud rate from 115200 to 9600 for simplicity purpose so here baud rate is also set now now simply generate the code so this will going to generate the code for us so you are initialization part will be automatically uh, done by the this simulator this IDE tool and now in test ABC in code we have our main.c file simply open this copy these two lines and now you can paste inside while one outside while one if you will simply paste this inside while one then it will send continuous message so for one time I am just declaring outside of this and now I am going to change this message so instead of this serial test from STM 
hardware okay i'm just uh, writing this message now we have to declare few things first thing is this buffer and second is the lan so i'm just declaring this over here character length is 50 and second is get length so this will be the integer okay now simply debug the code So it is simply showing one warning of as printf. So we have to include stdi.f, I think. But for now, just ignore this. Now, next, let us release the target. And as we already know that we need hex file. So for that, we simply click on property, build, setting post build option and here you have to simply select this hex file option convert hex file and now again release this And you can see X file is generated by the now simply copy the path so this ID is is created the hex file for us now to load the program as you know we have to use stm32 st link utility board is in programming mode reset the target and simply first time you have to connect the target and you can see board is connected now open the file so this is the file and now simply click on verify so it will load the program on the board now program is loaded now simply change this jumper from program into running mode now meanwhile this is the arduino code you can see in arduino we have two pin pin number 8 and pin number i9 configured as a software serial so 8 as a rx 9 as a tx and basically arduino is actually reading the message from this software serial port and whatever message it will receive it will simply send it on actual uart pin so we can observe or we can see the message using this port okay so our Arduino is connected with the PC directly using USB and whatever message this STM32 board will send Arduino will simply display that message on a terminal ok so let us open the terminal first of all and now I am going to connect the board And you can see message is there stm test for serial test for stm hardware now simply when i will press this reset it will send again same message you can see so this is how you can configure you can program the uart this is very basic introductory part in next video when we will see more complex program on the stm32 blue pill board like i2c spi and other 
so we will going to use this uart to print something some messages as a test point so that we can have understanding the flow of the code we can check whether the variables are assigned or not so basically uart will be used as a testing tool in future so this is what for the today's video if you like my work then please like my youtube videos subscribe my youtube channel share my videos thank you thanks a lot